All right, folks. So this is this is a very interesting series. We've got a best of five here. We've got Vinchester, who is in the red, and then we've got Margugu, who is in the blue. Now, they paused at the start, and Margugu said, do you have a weird terrain as well, like full gray? Vinchester said, yep. Yeah. Margugu says, never saw this. And so they're just going to continue to play. I don't actually think the map is bugged, per se. But it definitely looks weird, and I think it is unintended, but they're just going to play with it anyways. Um, this is a this is a best of five in qualifier for NAC5. For those watching live, I encourage you to use the NAC5 commands. Maybe look at the bracket this, for the first qualifier, uh, as well as, of course, the, the link to the host, Nilly, who is hosting the event. I'll be at the main event in Berlin with him in January. Uh, and this is the round of 24, so... Uh, we still would have, this would technically be like round two, uh, is the way to say it, as they're going to try and be one of the players in their brackets to qualify. Margugu, uh, young gun from France. Uh, Vinchester still pretty young in his own right, though. And Vinchester, we just looked at like overall tournament results and whatnot, and where ATP puts him, uh, which is Age of Empires tournament points, and he is still in that top ten. And Vinchester was at the previous NAC, so, Vinchester would be one of those players that you would have to see as the favor here. So, uh, Vinchester playing as the Malians, Margugu playing as the Celts. So, interesting, and listen to this, okay? So, a big result that happens earlier today, as I was slightly hungover drinking my coffee, and I'm now feeling less hungover, still drinking coffee, was Dark, a 19-year-old from Russia, who is very well acquainted with Vinchester, um, Dark's been around a while, right? He was up against Veleza, top 10 player, who's at the previous NAC. And Dark 3-0'd Veleza. Biggest result of this qualifier so far. And it wasn't a fluke. It wasn't like Veleza underperformed. I looked through all the games. And, um, it was, it was a fantastic performance from Dark. Funnily enough, Dark went Celts on this map against Veleza's Byzantines. And he won. So it's interesting to see Celts here now from Margugu. Uh, I would not have put Celts on my bingo card for the weekend. Um, but the way the, the civs work is a bit different for this tournament. <clears throat> There's, uh, you know, civilizations are banned even before the maps are picked, which is kind of interesting. And um, you know, maybe that influences it a bit. But I think for this map, what, what I've found is the trend is players uh, are just like, this basically becomes a no army in feudal into just a massive fish boom for the most part. Like, that's what this became. And don't cheat, guys. If you didn't see it, don't cheat. But Or sorry, if you did see it, please don't cheat. But guys, tell me how many fishing ships you think Dark made in that game where he beat Beleza, the one I'm referencing. Give me a guess. Give me your thoughts, please. Because, um... You're going to be surprised. Okay, 25, 12, 69, 27. He made like 48, I think. At one point, he had 30 of them on one pond because it's a fish trap meta. So it just added tons of fish and then used the extra wood to go for fish traps. So it's, a, I, I, again, I feel like like you can maybe contest the ponds, but from what I've seen so far, this is this is going to be players expanding to two ponds. No one's going to make a barracks. And this is now a bit of a fish boom map. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, obviously, could be in some incentive to, to fight for land. Margugu has not walled up. Lots of gold towards the middle for later on, I suppose. So, yeah. Uh, but Malians have cheaper wood buildings. Manchester actually adding a fire galley here, which is a little bit uncommon. I think a galley would technically be the better approach to deny a dock, uh, but he didn't scout, so fire galley can't deny a dock, depending on where the dock's going up, but still it would give you a nice little lead. Also, you're going to hear the dolphins in the background. There are dolphins here. My fiancé does not approve this choice, Nilly. Vinchester being a pain. Vinchester attacking a villager. Also knows that TC is there. Very well played. And Vinchester's already walled, and he is going for a barracks now. So he could always... I'd like to see an archer range here, in all honesty. It, it would be very fitting to go archer range, in my opinion. Another fire galley here from Vinch. Very interesting. 
Meanwhile, Margugu's just like, he's actually got double dock here. And, oh my goodness, has added? Oh, shoot, you're gonna lose your fish trap to a scout. Are you kidding me? Margugu, Black Forest has ruined you. Oh, that's 100 wood down the drain right there. Oh, tried to be too cute with it, and now could end up losing this villager as well. Oh, adds another fish trap right next to it. And actually, in the end, that's going to be fine. Also, I don't know why there's this weird flame sound here. It's like really, really... Um, uh, my sound volume for the game is typically pretty low, so you might not be able to hear it. But Anyways, Margugu ends up killing the scout. It's not too bad. Like I said, it's hard to get too excited about anything right now because it's just a fish boom fest. So... <laughs> Yo, Supplies, thank you for the bits. Says, let's go. Thanks for the work, T90. Hey, you're welcome. Glad you're here, Supplies. Holy walls. St. Phoenix, uh, there will be as many uh, of these sets on YouTube as possible. It will be on the Extras channel, where we'll put a lot of the, the sets for the qualifier. And then, like I do for any tournament, the best individual games will hit YouTube. And then, the, obviously, the, the full sets will be on the extra channel. But yeah, I think I... Like, I prefer the Malians, but I honestly feel like if we get to Wode Raider here, Wode Raider could be pretty strong. That's what Dark did. Dark went Wode Raiders against Cataphracts, and you're probably like, that doesn't add up. Well, Dark had four castles making Wodes, and then there was just one castle making Cataphracts. Dark had a ridiculous eco. Um... Good news for people who, who want this stat. I'm going to have res collected always on screen in, like, I think right after Christmas. Uh, that's an update I'm, I'm getting. But for now, I'm happy to just show the breakdown, especially because it shows the wood. Because I think this is important to see the difference there. Uh, Vinchester is on the way to cap up to Castle Age faster. Also talking to Capture Age about a bunch of potential additions... Uh, which I'd have to, to, to basically fund, uh, but I think might be worth it. I have to talk to them on if it's okay for me to pull the community on it. But there's there's potential things we can do. I also don't want to, like... I, I don't know if I... I want to tell you guys. I might want to surprise you, you know? So we'll see. Working out some stuff. But, okay, look at Margugu's approach. Margugu is adding endless fishing ships for fish traps. Margugu's got uh, 13 fishing ships in this corner. Gone are the days where players are going to transition towards farms. Well, actually, that's not true. Vinchester is adding farms. But Margugu is just using all that wood and investing it into the food income. Prediction chat. How many farms will we see from Margugu? Winner gets a cookie. ITK plays, uh, ITK plays games. Thanks for the prime. Winner gets a cookie. Okay. Well, it might be a lot of cookies because a lot of people are saying zero right now. Well, he might end up building zero, truthfully. Okay. We got some people with some more conservative guesses. We've got villagers coming forward here from Vinchester to go for a siege push with knights. And scouts from Margugu are going to catch this out. What a find. From Margugu, those both those villagers should be dead. You just block with one of the vills, uh, one of the scouts, and let the other ones attack. Yep, yep, you block. Now this one's going to be the quick wall. You block with the others. Monastery needs to be deleted. Two villagers dead. The KD's 5-0 right now for Margugu. He killed the spearman from Vinchester with his own spearman. He killed the scout, and then he's now killed those two villagers. And look at the eco difference because of the fish boom. The thing that's deceiving there is how many of these fishing ships are going to be on fish traps. But right now, he's got a lot of fish traps here. Let's see if I could double click them. I think he's got eight. He's got seven. And uh, I think the people who said zero might end up being correct here on the whole farm thing. This is the fish trap, fish trap era, people. Black Forest started this. It's like slightly disappointing, I think, from... I, I I would have to ask Nilly. I'll cast a little bit with him. I wonder what they were envisioning for the map. I don't think they were envisioning this. <laughs> I think they were envisioning like, oh, it's a hybrid map, but also you've got gold towards the middle, so it's going to be like some fishing ships, some sneak docks, and like some farms, and some archers, and knights. 
It just is a boom fest. But I boomy games can be fun, and I'm oversimplifying it, of course. Rusty, if you go er, back, if you think about how this broke down, and, and I'm not trying to be critical, I want you and everybody here, I want your brains to click for the game in an exciting way. Nice house there from Margugu, just gets the timing right. So Rusty says that was risky from Vinchester, why not bring a couple spears? Well, he did bring the spears, and they died. But remember, Vinchester had no vision here because he lost his scout. So it looks risky from all, all visible. But Vinchester probably assumed that Margugu wasn't investing a lot into land because he saw fist traps. And, and, or Vinchester probably assumed that, right? And the scout addition there from Margugu just paid off wonderfully. It, it was risky, I agree with you. But not having a scout there is what really hurt him. Yeah, so Margugu's kind of going arena style, where you go light calf to contest for monks getting any relics. Obviously, getting relics on a map like this could be super nice. Um, cause just because eventually you might run out of gold. Uh, players are going to need to build up towards the middle. But a clear difference in approach here, where we've got like some knight aggression and, and like farm transition here towards with Vinch. But Margugu is still spamming fishing ships. This is pretty insane. Now again, like he's about to run out of fish here. So his eco is maybe not going to be quite as efficient. And good luck adding perfect fish traps if you've also got to do everything else. But so far he's done a good job. He's getting house walls down where he needs to. It does seem like Vinchester's taking a little bit more land control. Like Vinchester's in a lot of spots. There's a lot happening right now. And it's going to be pikemen for Margugu, which makes perfect sense with the Celts. Faster moving infantry. Pikes against knights. Yeah, so I think I think Margugu is in a really good position. Again, res collected. Margugu is completely out booming Vinch when it comes to the wood and the food. And can use that wooden food to go pikes to take control of the gold. Now, eventually, you know, Malians have great gunpowder. They also could go for, like, Gabetto, possibly, which could be really good against Celts, their unique unit. Um... So there are options for Vinch to switch out of this. But Margugu can't lose this area because that's his food eco. <laughs> like, that is such a big deal. I actually would love to see Vinchester with the Siege Workshop. But he doesn't really have the wood for it just yet. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Margugu has to throw for Vinch to have a chance, right? Uh, you're, you're way oversimplifying it. Vinchester's got four TCs. Vinchester's got good eco setup. Vinchester's got good army momentum. Vinchester's got, you know, good vision in the middle. Knights are still faster than pikes. Lots of things can happen. You still have to play the game. So I, I am correct. I am saying not saying you are. Well, no, I'm I'm saying you are wrong. Obviously, I would prefer Margugu's position, but Vinchester could get a lot done here potentially with a faster imp and uh, fast chemistry. But you now this is certainly, yeah. You know, it just becomes much more difficult for Vinchester right now because the pikemen are out, and I think the priority for both is going to be imp here in a second. TC on the gold, good stuff. The other thing too is like, if this becomes gunpowder, like full gunpowder from uh, the Malians, what do Celts do, right? Um. If it becomes hand cannon, bomber cannon, you could be in a really tricky spot if you're Celts. But I think, uh, you know, Margugu's in a good position here. As the Knights for Vinchester haven't really done much. Well played for Margugu. Really well executed. Still, though, doesn't have, like, all the fist traps set up. Needs another house. House goes up. Let's check food collected. It's crazy what the fist trap strategy can do. And then you've got access to gold now. So, I, again, I saw Celts uh, in the earlier series. And it was it was World Raiders against Cataphracts, which Cataphracts always win, right? But it was the numbers and momentum from, Margu uh, from Dark in that game that ended up working. I think you could have a similar thing here where it's like... If you had the castle numbers and the Wodes with the Trebs, you could just push the position, take the opponent completely off of gold and be in a great spot. 
But, you know, Vinch is building a castle in the back. Vinch is making Gabetto, which is great against infantry. We still only have one castle for Margugu, and Celts and their eco is strong. But the big question from people always is, what are you going to make with it? Also, i got to turn on market events. Uh, they've been both been using the market a lot. And that that is a castle you make for trebuchets, and for no other purpose. Margugu... Uh, building a risky castle here, but it's honestly, th as bad as this might look for a couple villagers, this is actually giving him a really good shot here. This is a for trebuchets. If he builds a defensive castle, he can't push forward with trebs. I actually really like this castle from Margugu. This is really well played. Yep, sacrifice a couple units, get the castle up, and now the first thing you do is you prioritize two trebs. And Vinch already built this castle, I think, expecting to lose um, to lose this castle. And Vinch is going to reloco relocate sorry, over to this gold and build this castle. Uh, this castle will likely go down before it. But conscription is something that Vinchester is going to consider instead of Trebs here. But, like, Vinch still will have gold. And now the Trebs for Margugu will have to be, like, in the pit which means they're doing less damage. And Vinchester still has Gabetto, which shreds infantry. So I find this quite a close game. Why is fish slash fish trap so superior to regular farming? So it, it basically the root of it, there's more complexities, of course, but the root of it is eco units. So think about how we treat eco on land. We say this person has more TCs, thus they can create more eco, right? Well, if you are in three TCs and four docks producing fishing ships, you then have seven economic units. As Vinchester dives for these traps, wow, was not expecting that. I thought he was going to give up. That was, that was really costly. I thought he was just going to give this castle up. Why is Margugu Russian chemistry? Well, it helps castle fire. It also would help scorpions. And we see heavy scorpion on the way here from Margugu. And that was my question. How do you deal with the Gabetto? Some players would go Onager. Here we go again from Vinch, but Vinchester... I mean, feels worth it this time. And Vinchester gets both of those Trebs. And keep in mind, these castles back here still can produce uh, Gabetto. So Margugu is you know, struggling to move out right now with the infantry because of the Gabetto. But now the Scorpions are in, people! Kelt Scorpions! Say goodbye, little ladies! These Gabettos are going to feel some pain from these Scorpions. Holy crap. What in the world? Well played. That's such a good call to go Scorpion. And Kelt Siege fires faster, right? And then you also could see uh, more upgrades on them. I, I don't know if you could really prioritize Fury Celtica for Scorpions for the extra HP, but it can't hurt. But now Vinchester's going to make Bomber Cannons. But, but what... Margugu has now is Margugu has a position to open Vinch up and go raid and it becomes very tough for Vinch here because Vinch is going to have one army in one spot I'd like to see Margugu split up some Wood Raiders and try and get into the back here but it's also tricky because you're thinking if I just remove them from this gold we win the game so this could be great Big Tuna says, T90 doesn't know lull. You have zero travel if you put traps on the dock so they get food fast. That's another aspect, right? But that is not the most important reason why we see fish booming. The most important reason why we see fish booming is because it is another economic building, right? So you could produce, you can max out your TC efficiency while simultaneously producing more eco units out of docks. That's why fishing is huge. But yes, thank you for explaining the other aspect, lol. Thanks for showing up. Oh, and then, okay, Big Tuna's next message. Red can't win, lol, he should quit. Okay, all right. All right, so. <laughs> Thanks, Big Tuna, for the wisdom. That makes me want to, scares me right back to Facebook with messages like that. Uh, Bombard Cannon gets sniped, and Margugu's going to be happy to do that, right? Sacrificing a lot of infantry here. Losing a lot of infantry, and... Ideally, though, you're losing the infantry to kill the Bombard Cannons was kind of my point. And that was not the prettiest engagement ever for Margugu. And now the Gabettos have a little bit more confidence to move forward. 
And more Trebs go down, and, you know, Margugu still hasn't broken Vinch. Gold still being mined. And the Gabetto are very strong anytime infantry gets close. That was an awful engagement for, for Margugu. He had such a big numbers advantage. I think, uh, you know, Classic, he's looking at something else there. May, sometimes when you're ahead, you figure, just patrol in, make more army. Especially because this is kind of messy right now. But this is what I want to see from, from Margugu right now. You are in a, you're almost fully popped. I want to see you send those woads into this eco. And then, like, the scorpions can stay and wait for more woad raiders. Now, if you can't make more woad raiders easily, because his food's not really floating, maybe that's something you don't feel comfortable doing. But even just, like, five woad raiders into the back there, because Vinch doesn't have a castle. But it's a, it's a focus on the middle style, style of map. And it, it becomes tricky here. Siege Engineer is a really nice upgrade here for the extra range for the Scorpions. But what a fun game, guys. I, I already am thinking this will hit the main YouTube channel. Should I feel bad about the sass towards the tuna? I don't know. I'm just, it's all it's all good fun, right? I think, I think it was deserved. Gabetto's killing the Scorpions. Gabetto still killed... Siege so quickly. It's just they're frail. And Vinchester seems happy to sacrifice these things every once in a while. You know, Vinchester's at a spot where Vinchester could maybe tech switch into some light cav at some point. A nice find there from Margugu. You see what I mean, though? You split up the woads. It could find some great damage. And then there's damage there. Sorry I missed this. But that's what I was talking about. But Vinchester's been able to get a castle up in that spot now, which makes raids less valuable. Still no fletching for the castles. Still no ballistics. So Wodes could run past the castles in theory a lot easier. And it was a fish boomy start. And we see Cavalier now for Vinchester. I actually really like this. The light calf suggestion that I brought up, that is more of a standard game type of thing where you have limited gold supply. Going for the a higher value unit like Cavalier isn't something you'd see on maps where they didn't have big chunks of gold. People like to save their gold. Anyone remember the Veleza Viper series from... I think it was Warlords? I believe it was... Yeah, it was Warlords on Gold Rush, where Veleza had 7k gold, and because he, he was going Light Cav instead of Cavalier. Um... Anyways. <laughs> uh, that, that That's uh, another example. If you saw that, you probably are feeling pain that I brought it up. Elite Woad Raider in for Margugu now. He didn't have it before. And that that obviously played a role in some of the poor fights. Uh, 14 attack for the Elite Woads now. That's just the base attack. So that's the base of attack of a Paladin. But I mean, the Gabettos are no slouches. These things have 13 attack. And we see Farimba now for Vinchester. And Vinchester's Bombard Cannons, like two Bombard Cannons, threaten 18 Scorpions. So it's a the, the this is a bit of an issue right now for Margugu, and it, you know it felt like the strat's so good for Margugu, but Vinchester's showing his class and just hanging in here, guys. Again, we've got a top ten talent. This is in a qualifier for an event that Vinchester has qualified to in the past, and Margugu is kind of that next gen player, right? One of one of a few, and and you guys probably followed him a lot in TTL and. If you've been following the pro scene, have seen more and more from him. I, I really want to check Res Collected right now. Another Scorpion bites the dust. The Wood Raiders have to close in. There's no answer to those Bomber Cannons. Unless you sacrifice all the Woads for it. And is it worth it? I'd say that's worth it. Hmm. Cavalier isn't coming out yet, but I like the fact that Vinchester isn't going to like commit to them and make them. Until all the upgrades were in preemptively. It's a bit interesting. But those are they're, they're going to be fully upgraded. And, and now, finally, Margugu trying to use his mobility a bit more with the Wolds. Finding some damage here. Finding some damage here. Using the mobility and the speed of them. And I would like to even see this side pressured a little bit. Obviously, hard for Margugu to look there. Vinchester loses a bunch of villagers here on the gold. These two Bombard Cannons are pretty much all Vinchester has remaining here. And Vinchester's Gabettos have gone down there as well, and Margugu is fully pushing the middle. 
If Margugu had Trebs right now, Margugu might consider pushing one of these castles. We've got Wold Raiders in the back, Cavalier chasing that down. Over the last couple minutes, though, Margugu has killed 60 more villagers. It was 20 to 20 Eco KD for a bit. It's now 83 to 26 for the Frenchman. As we're going to see Halb now. I mean, makes sense. Your infantry Civ. You see the Cavalier. You can consider Halb. And this is well played from Margugu. And, and like now, like he's basically using the side attacks to set up that final blow in the middle. Vinchester's down to 110 pop. I think Margugu might take this one. Crazy what those Wood Raiders have done. I don't think the Gabettos have traded poorly in this game. It's just that you need the castles to produce them. They take a while to produce. And Margugu's been able to be in a bunch of different locations here. This is sick. How's the fish boom looking? Dang, man. 27 fishing ships all on fish traps here. He's got 18 fishing ships. Five of them are not on fish traps here. But and how many farms? Okay, there are some farms. We have to go back to people's guesses. We've got 10. I remember a bunch of people said 7. I think Margugu is missing that finishing blow. But the, I don't think Margugu realizes how much damage he did to Vinchester right there. And look, the woes are just good enough. Bomber cannons are not cheap. Boom. That's worth it. Also, it looks like Margugu is going to get a relic here, potentially. Halb's come over to push the Cavalier away. Nice job, Margugu. And, like, you, Vinch is trying to reboom now. Like, he, he he's not in a position to push. Thankfully, though, he's still on gold. I think if you have, um... 68 on gold, you should maybe be buying stone. What do you guys think about that? Buy stone and place more castles. Like a castle here at the very least to protect you, but also to, to to give you a launching pad for the next attack would be really nice. I'm a big stone buyer on gold maps, uh, but I also... Uh, I'm never going to have a 80 population lead on Vinchester. <laughs> I'm not a fish trapper. <laughs> to give you an idea, my fish trap hotkey was changed with an update three patches ago. It overlaps with something they added. And I still haven't fixed it. <laughs> I I literally, that's how lazy I am. I, I, I tried to figure it out and I was like, ah, okay, not for me. That's where I'm at on the whole fish trap meta right now. Um, it's... I'm also not playing events anymore, so it's, it's not a concern for me. Mm, Cavalier can find some shots, man, but still, I mean, Scorpions are going to kill that many Cavalier. And, I mean, maybe some... It, it, it's easy for people to be like, all right, come on, Margugu, finish the guy off. But I think Margugu's just building up. Margugu has learned, do not trickle Treb. And he's waiting for the Trebs, but he's pop-capped right now. So he can't get to his six trebuchets because he's popcapped. He needs to toss away some army. Still number 72 on ATP though, T90. Yeah, I'm not sure if that says... I'm not sure if that says a lot about me or a lot about the scene. <laughs> but I'll take it. Proud of that top 100. And Margugu getting some more raids in using the sides. A uh, little Gabetto raid here. They broke through a house. Ooh, fish traps. Fish traps in jeopardy. That'll be a bit awkward. Can you imagine if... But seriously, though, if these Gabetto could sneak over to these docks without Marguga realizing, that could be game-ending. Like, I'm not even kidding. The wood count is not there for Marguga right now. Yo, no way! No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. That's exactly where Vinch is going. Dude. Dude. Guys, the Gabetto will shred any houses or palisades, so they'll go through. Oh, gee. I mean, he's sending tons of army. Margugu's sending everything he can. Oh, Vinchester is distracting this with that one Gabetto. Oh, my God. Holy crap, Vinch. Credit to Vinch, man. Vinch has been down bad for a long time. No way. Look at Margugu just bought a thousand wood so he could add more fish traps on the other side. Dude! 
I mean, thank God Margugu has 40 woads in queue because this is horrible. This is, this is a uh, run away with the fishing ships at least. So like you have to, cause you have to manually attack the fish trap, but Vinch is going to do that. And then Gabetto are here, Cavalier are here, and Vinchester has a chance. This might be one of the most ridiculous comebacks. Oh my god, look at the eco balance for Margugu! It's all baguette and nothing else! What in the world? The typical French diet, demo doesn't work, and desperation time for Margugu, who's got to be feeling it. You will feel this as a player now. You know how good your position is. You, you're, you've always been feeling that you're the underdog. I think, I think that Vinch can win this game, guys. What in the world? That's insanity. And it was all because of a house instead of a stone wall there. This started. And also, you know, not re being able to apply that pressure against Vinchester, which allowed Vinchester some creativity. I mean, this is this is wild, man. I mean, th th imagine having to click this stuff, right? It stresses me out just thinking about balancing that. That is 25 pop that's not doing anything for you. And Gebetto numbers up high, uh, high enough. The villagers are still on gold here. And the Trebs can't advance forward because Gebetto Bomber Cannon is still kind of threatening. Vinchester's been able to stabilize. Huge credit to Vinchester. Now that one World Raider is the king over here. Has killed 10 villagers. I, I mean, if Vinch wins this game, still it'd be insane. He's still by, far behind in population. And Margugu fixing the problem now. <laughs> oh, man. That was nuts. That was wild. To think of that in the moment, too. Because I think when he broke through, he wasn't thinking about the fish traps. Then he saw this. And he could have stayed here a bit longer and then immediately just made the move. Uh, Barbecue Python, thanks for the 38 months. Thank you, John Muddle, for the 9. Zero, thanks for the 6. And welcome, everybody. You can't push easily with Scorpions, and it's so scary for Margugu right now that if he advances too far with the Trebs, the Bomber Cannons get pushed as well. Celts have very little answer to Bomber Cannons. But is Margugu possibly too scared of them? No, the issue for Margugu is Margugu has 50 Halbs. Halbs aren't actually what you want here. You want Woad Raiders. And here come the Trebs. Okay, so I think Margugu is just going to toss away the Halbs. Let the Paladins die. Or that the Halbs die. Sorry, someone said Paladins in chat. Confuse me. Yeah, you, you, let, this, you let these die because you're going to have more Woads coming. And then you use the Trebs on the castle. This is the way to do it. You just push it. Lots of units will die. But if you take the castle out, that's worth it. And nice positioning here from Margugu. <clears throat> Dives in with the Wood Raiders for the Bombar Cannons. And that is kind of what we were expecting a little bit ago. Now, Scorpions are kind of out of position. Gabetto's dive for the Trebs. Castle's being repaired. But the Kelt Trebs get the job done, and the Gabettos go down. And now there's no castle in the middle for Vinch. And Vinchester only has one castle to produce Gabetto out of. And the GG's called. What a game. That was a really good game. I, I think, like... This is a game that Vinchester should have been so much more dead in. Uh, and Vinchester did everything that he did to to survive. And, you know, I hope people on YouTube are excited to watch this whole series as well, because that was a really nice level from both. And if you want to see more people, then check out the Best of Five on the Extras channel. Uh, we will have it there already, and you can check it out in the description. But um, I expect a really good series ahead. Uh, I, I think the Fist Trap play that we've seen here is still on the newer side. This is the first qualifier for this event. Uh, again, this morning, I saw Dark do it, and then I'm sure Margugu saw that, and, uh, you know, maybe Margugu prepped it. Margugu and Dark are kind of at that same level, right? They're both younger. They're both, like, maybe ranked between, like, the 18 to 26 mark in the world, um, and so maybe they train together or something, but either way, Margugu's fish trap play was crazy. And uh, collect a lot of resources in this game. But use the Kelt Wood bonus specifically for the Fist Traps. And Kelts are also not a sieve that I foresee to be very strong on other maps. So if you can get Kelts to work here, it's really nice for a sieve draft. Because you it's probably a much later pick. And then you can be, win against a very early pick.
which I'm sure Malians was because Malians are kind of good everywhere right now. So um, White Knight says they're both in Fox, so they probably train together, right? That's true. Actually, they they recently joined the same team, so it's very possible at the very least they changed, uh, they exchanged strategies and trained. Good point. <laughs> 